Hello everyone, thatching into today's first video, we're going to do the November month head forecast uh, for 2020 uh, from Gareth Webbies for today's uh, first video. So I'm a little bit late with this, uh, it's 4th of uh, November and uh, yeah, I should have got this done a day so go. But I've uh, been very, very busy few days, so I'm uh, really sorry about that. So uh, we're going to review October's forecast, first of all, then we will uh, have a look at uh, three long range models uh, for, for November, see what they're all showing. Uh, then I'll give you the gas weather's forecast for November. I'm mean, at the very end of the video, have a little sneak peek at uh, December with Seth SV2. So I shall get on with all of that for you uh, very shortly, just to say that it's going to be a busy day at Gaz uh today. We've got uh, the USA forecast coming up shortly after this video. And we're going to be live streaming uh, from 6 o'clock tonight, and uh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to uh, live stream a 10 to 14 day update, so anything that will be within the 10 to 14 day update will be included in the live stream. Uh, and we'll take questions, it'll be interactive, and, and we'll be here for an hour live streaming, so it's going to be absolutely great. And uh, so I shall see you live at uh, 6 o'clock, but USA forecast to come uh, before that. Right, so uh, let's just start off with the October uh, review then. So the Gaussian is October forecast. Uh, was for around average to slightly below average temperatures. We thought have a possibility of a slightly cooler than average month. And uh, we went for a rather wet month as well. We thought rainfall would probably come out uh, a little bit above average. This is the latest uh, climate uh, anomaly update from the UK Met showing uh, how things uh, came out for October. So all of the stats are updated for October. And we can see that it was actually around average uh, for temperatures. So so most parts of the country uh, within within the 81 2010 average, the far northwest of Scotland was a little bit below average, but elsewhere, uh, yes, around average temperature. So possibly we over, uh, possibly we overdid it with the cool of an average forecast. Although it was quite a cold month, it's really the last, you know, sort of few days of the month. Uh, that uh, that made all of a difference. Generally, I think October 2020 will be remembered uh, as a rather coldish month, to be honest. And it was a uh, wet and average as well. Most places had a significantly wet and average month, particularly, interestingly, eastern Scotland and central southern southeastern England, which is rather unusual uh, to see that. And, and not as wet like in between through northern England, most sort of areas. So, so yeah, but generally most places coming out on the wetter than average side. I'll just show you uh, how sunshine uh, came out as well. So it was quite a dull month as well. Uh, so, so yeah, most places have below average uh, sunshine with, with many places between around uh, sort of uh, 70 and 50% of their average sunshine. So it was a dull, wet and to be honest, quite cold month, I think, even though the last few days of month did pull the temperature on me back up to average. I think it'll be remembered as rather a cold, wet and dull October. So as far as the gas weather's forecast is concerned, I would say... Like, it wasn't colder than average, so we had to put that on the table. We forecast, like, around half a degree below average, and we came out uh, very close to average. So, so uh, yeah, perhaps a little bit overdone with the cold and average signal, but nevertheless, I don't think the forecast was too bad. It was an unsettled, wet, and pretty cool uh, and uh, uninspiring sort of month, which is about what we was expecting, really. So I would uh, I would sort of file that as around three, three and a half out of five, or, or maybe five and a half out of ten, something like that. It was in the middle. I think it's okay. Uh, right, so this is how November 700 millibar high doubling is looking from the CFS V2. So, it's forecasting anti-cyclonic uh, November, actually, uh, with above average heights set uh, over and to the east of the country, the jet stream. Uh, sort of push north was a little bit like that. So seeing quite a strong high pressure signal for this uh, November. Now it's quite interesting what's happening with this high pressure because uh, gradually day by day this ridge is being shunted northwards. So a few days ago this ridge was being forecast to be centred around here really. And over time this ridge is pushing north and that makes a big difference to the feel of the weather because if the ridge is centred to the south of the country just there, then we're going to pull in westerlies and it'll be mild, it'll be a mild month. If the ridge is centred over the country, that's more or less where it is now actually, if this ridge centred over the country, and that's actually going to be quite a coldish ridge and could produce frost and fall. Of course, if the ridge goes any further north, if the CFS keeps trending this ridge further and further north and it finishes up up here, then that's going to pull in like really cold easterlies. So, you know, it's like a day, day by day, the ridge is being pulled northwards by the CFS V2. 
Uh, what sort of, don't want to go there, want to go there. So actually the CFS is forecasting around average temperature anomalies for the UK and Ireland, whereas most parts of Europe, especially Northern Europe, being forecast to be mild and average. That's because we're still bringing westerlies up there, of course. But, uh, but overall, not as mild for November now with that temperature anomaly for the UK and Ireland as like it has been over the past uh, week or two. Precipitation anomalies, of course, with high pressure dominating, uh, uh, rather drier than average month being expected, not just the UK, but for much of Northern Europe as well. So around average temperatures, probably with a fair amount of frost and fog, but quite a bit of dry weather too. From CFSV2. Uh, right, this is Kansas. This one is also looking pretty anti cyclonic. So, again, going for higher pressures, mean cell pressure anomaly, by the way, from tropical tidbits. High pressure in the Atlantic into the UK, and then that high extending uh, eastwards into Northern Europe as well. Lots of low pressure up to the north. Um, so, again, quite a bit of high pressure. You expect a relatively dry bump, but probably not that mild again. So the temperature anomaly is actually average, and just to our west, it is actually colder than average. Let's get rid of that. So, uh, so yes, just to our west, we see this colder than average area of temperature anomalies. Yet uh, the temperature anomaly for us is around average. So um, again, quite quite a cool month being signaled there. I think above average temperatures to our north and across much of northern Europe uh, as well. So Cansips looks like it's going for a coolish sort of month, and quite a dry month again. You would expect that with high pressure dominating. I assume a lot of a lot of this, uh, with the temperature only being like close to average to perhaps a bit on the cool side, it is down to frost and fog in an anti-cyclonic uh, November pattern. And the Beijing Climate Centre, 500 millibar height anomaly sort of rounds it all off because that one also has the above average heights more or less over top of the country uh, again. So, yes, that one again looks anti-cyclonic. Temperature lines maybe a little bit higher with the Beijing Climate Centre for Ireland and the UK. That's just a little bit more towards the above average side. But, again, it's not a particularly big deviation, close to average, really, with the temperatures. And the precipitation anomaly, of course, again, rounding it all off with precipitation anomalies, uh, with high pressure dominating the precipitation anomaly, uh, is drier than normal. So, so we've got a very strong signal here, actually, from all of these ones. So high pressure to be dominant during this, uh, during this November, uh, giving quite an anti-cyclonic month, therefore quite a dry month. Very strong signal for temperatures to be drier, for rainfall to be uh, drier than average. Uh, which is a big change of what we've had for this autumn so far, because it has been quite an unsettled autumn, particularly October. Uh, but as far as temperature is concerned, that's a little bit more problematic, because the exact position of this ridge is critical. As I explained, if a ridge is just to our south, we pull in mild west south west is. If a ridge is over the country, central, based over the UK, then it, it'll be quite cold from frost and fog. If the ridge goes north and becomes centred to the north of the country, then we pull in easterlies. And, of course, that's going to be potentially really quite cold, if, particularly if it starts to drag in the air from Russia. So I would, I think, that really, we, we tend to go with the models here, actually. If it's high pressure being centrally located over top of the country, giving a lot of dry weather, but there could be a fair amount of frost and fog at times. Uh, there may also be, like, milder southwesterly interludes as well, so I certainly wouldn't rule out the chance of some very mild weather. Uh, we had, like, a very mild opening, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if that comes back, uh, especially through the first half of the month. So we may get some uh, ab abnormally mild days through the first half of the month. But on the same token, I wouldn't be completely surprised if the high managed to get itself to Scandinavia, for example, and at least once pulled in quite a cold easterly, maybe goes to the northwest and pulls down quite a cold northerly. And I would suspect that is most likely the further on we go into the month. So it could be, again, one of those months where the final week turns quite a lot colder uh, with maybe a wintry outbreak. Uh, but dry of an average, I think, is quite strongly signalled here. And uh, overall, sort of colder and milder interludes are setting one another in what is an anti-cyclonic month. It is a complicated forecast, this. Uh, finally, uh, CFS V2 for December, going again for high pressure to be over and to the south of the country, low pressure up to the north. This sort of milder for December with more of a, a more of a southwesterly sort of flow.
But but I don't think we worry too much about that at this stage. So uh, that's it then. The GalsWebis.com at two thousand November two thousand twenty uh, forecast is for a, a relatively anti-cyclonic month. Quite a lot of quiet weather going on. Fair amount of frost and fog at times, and uh, and temp so a dry and average month. Yes, and temperatures probably quite close to average with milder and colder. Uh, periods alternating and offsetting one another. I think there is a chance of a couple of very mild periods with this. There's also the chance of maybe uh, quite a potent cold snap, and that may happen uh, later on in the month, either from the east or from the north. And if that comes off, there could be some snow, of course, involved uh, with that. But we should wait and see. Right. OK, so that's as much as I can do for you. We will uh, evaluate the November forecast when we come to the beginning of December. And uh, we're going to be back shortly with the USA forecast. Of course, always on Wednesday, we'll do the USA forecast. And we'll be live streaming from 6 o'clock tonight uh, with 10 to 14 day update. And I shall see you then live uh, at 6 o'clock. That's all for now, though. And thanks for watching.